out, kid? The original uh, Christmas Story debuted back in 1983. In fact, it opened in theaters 39 years ago this week, as a matter of fact. Follows uh, that quirky Midwest family getting ready for Christmas time, young Ralphie in particular, who only wanted a Red Ryder carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle. Over the years, this movie has become uh, a favorite, a tradition to watch on television during the holidays. In 2000, a stage adaptation was produced. A few years later, the more successful Christmas Story musical scored three Tony Award nominations. And now, the original Ralphie, actor Peter Billingsley, and several other of the original kids from the 1983 movie are all back as grown-ups in the sequel, A Christmas Story Christmas, featuring Ralphie and his family now returning to his childhood home at Christmas time. Last night at the Chicago Cultural Center downtown, Peter Billingsley hosted a special reception and advanced screening of the sequel before it debuts on HBO Max tomorrow. And Peter Billingsley joins us in studio. Good morning. Nice Good morning. Day. Thank you for having me. How was that? That must have been fun to it be with was fans. It was a lot like of that. fun. And I said to Warner Brothers when we started this, we're going to Chicago to screen this movie. This movie takes place in the Midwest. And as you'll see, the in the beginning, Ralphie's grown up and he lives in Chicago in 1970 on the south side. So it was really, really important for us to come here and screen. Yeah, there were, there were really a lot of Chicago roots, weren't there, in the original uh, movie? It was, you know, supposedly said, it wasn't called Hammond, Indiana. It was but called Homan. Homan. Exactly, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, changed one letter. Just a couple letters, yes, uh, correct. But that's where it was originally set. But you actually filmed in Ohio. We right? shot the original movie in Cleveland because the director found a house that he thought was perfect. Um, and for this movie, we were able to recreate 11 houses, including the Parker house, the Bumpus house next door, and the entire kid cast this comes back age. in this movie, uh, which is great and all the same actors. So it was really fun to reimagine Ralphie, where's the gang now, and Ralphie as a father and as a husband and, you know, trying to give his kids a Christmas like yeah. he had growing up. I, I had so much fun watching this and trying to, you know, place the, the kid actor with the adult actor. Now, you're easy now, as long as you wear right, your glasses. Right, I got the glasses on, You don't true. even wear glasses now, but <laughs> you do. have to. So it's like, uh, that's a bad rumor. No, I yeah. do. I was not born with good vision, and I think they worked it into the storyline of that Yeah, movie. I mean, it's so signature of uh, Ralphie, but uh, to see all the original uh, kids. Yeah and the Bumpus House and everything that goes yeah. on at the Bumpus House. That's right. In this new one. How, how much detail did you spend, uh, you know, going back and making references to the original film without, you, you definitely didn't go overboard. No, with. I think it's an exercise in restraint. You know, you want to have a couple Easter eggs, obviously for the fans, the bunny suit makes a tiny cameo, very small. Um, it was really about seeing where these people's lives are now, what their hopes and dreams are, and, you know, giving them a fresh Christmas. Yeah. I'm surprised it took so long for a sequel to yeah. this movie to come out. Was 39 it years. Just like legally, legal stuff? A little bit. It was an interesting movie. It was kind of popular when it came out, but it really didn't do great, and it was through cable and video that it started to gain life. So we talked about it. We wanted to get it right, and I was lucky to have... Warner Brothers and Legendary and the resources, and got to produce with my longtime pal, Chicago native Vince Vaughn. That we love uh, our Vince Vaughn, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great that he's involved. What do you think the appeal is of the original movie? It's a good question. I can say the one thing that most fans say to me is they feel like it's their family. You know, it wasn't a super saccharine family, it was very real. And I think they just have connected with the Parkers, and it's remarkable. This thing plays on a marathon. And people, and you just told me you tuned it in. It was on. They just continue to watch it. Was on it. TBS. This it feels past like weekend. comfort food now, and I think it's the relatability of that family that kind of feels like their own. Yeah. When when uh, when you see that uh, scene of you trying to climb back yeah. up the uh, slide, what do you, what do you think about it? What was going on when you? shot that scene. Uh, well, I mean, we were kids, and the director encouraged us to have fun, um, always on the set. And when you have a slide on a set, and kids, they couldn't keep us off it. And I frequently remember them yelling, get back on your mark. <laughs> we got to get back to work. And we're like, one you more, stupid one more, kids. one more. So I think that was a distraction. Yeah. The uh, new movie is called A Christmas Story Christmas. It'll be out tomorrow on uh, HBO Max. And uh, Peter Billingsley. I only just learned that you were re related to Barbara Billingsley. Yeah, Barbara married from into our family. To that's right. Yeah. Wow. And I did get a chance to meet her before she passed away, and she yeah. was oh. lovely. What a yeah. Tree, what a treat. Very, very cool. I just learned that when reading about you and, yeah. and some other things. Peter Billingsley, we'll be right back.